Hi guys and ladies, welcome to Zip Gaming Online. This time we're gonna take a look at the uh, Mouse 9. I, I keep wanting to say rat just because the uh, previous um, mouse been rat and um, again I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say sorry immediately because um, this is not, you know, I already opened it before, I've already done this before and um, well, I'm, I'm not gonna waste any time anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and open all of this up so you can kind of get the general idea of what this is. Um, first things first, I'm gonna show you the um, accessories first. Um, nothing, uh, nothing that you haven't seen before, really. Especially if you've seen the uh, Red M uh, video, you'll pretty much know what this is. You can go ahead and pause this if you want and take a look at that. So that's gone. You do have your little pouch. It's um, it's it's kind of feel the same. It's uh, obviously I'm not gonna try to drop my, the uh, mouse and just for you guys benefit, but it it still feels pretty good. It feels pretty cushiony. So you got that, and then there's the sticker, user guide, and all of that, right? So. Whoop. Now, this is it. Um, I'll be honest, I do want to get one thing out of the way immediately. So, this is the thing. Maybe it's just me, but, okay, it's not a cheap mouse. This mouse is not cheap. I don't want you guys to, you know, kind of miss out on this. It might just be a little thing, but considering the price, you do want to know as much as you could. So, let's see if I can just take this off real quick. All right. So, the back, right here where the uh, batteries are, the cap for it is somewhat flimsy. Especially the, um, the spring inside. I did have a little problem and I had to kind of readjust it again. So, with that being said, um, I can pretty much go to the uh, good stuff. So, um, compared to the uh, Rat M, this one does have a dedicated um, dedicated driver for it. And uh, let's see if I can just figure this out because there's the groove in there that I kind of have to push in and it's not, I, I can't seem to find it right now. Um, and I don't want to destroy it either, so I'm, I'm, I'm destroying it. Oh, never mind. Okay. Scratch that. So, this is the thing, guys. Um, there's a lot of buttons on this one. A lot of buttons. It's a full-sized mouse. So, if you're used to, like, um, a full-sized mouse, like, you know, Logitech's G500, G5, um, Myonix, Neos, all of that. Like, basically, those two are the one that I personally use. So, I'll say that first. And, but you, get, you guys get the uh, general idea. This one is what they uh, pretty much would want you to get for the uh, general audience so this is the thing although it's supposed to be kind of like a gaming mouse right but this is kind of like it's not really especially with the driver okay the driver actually gives you a lot of things to kind of play around with you can kind of macro everything you want every buttons you want which is pretty much let's see right click left click the scroll scroll left scroll right i think you get the idea Button press, um, and then button right here. Let's see what else do I have. I do have over here, there's the button here. That, surprisingly, I do use a lot. Oh, and the button here, if I missed that. So there's that. You do have the uh, thumb scroll as well, if you uh, use that. So there's that. But this is the funny thing. This is supposed to be your sniper button thing, right? You can uh, change your DPI, especially in, with the uh, driver. You kind of change it and kind of use it to what you want however uh maybe it's just me oh and forward and back button of course can't leave that but but maybe this is just me but i actually end up using this for photoshop yeah weird right but i actually use this for photoshop just to kind of um make it a little bit more precise for me to kind of use a mouse instead of a, like a you know like a tablet to kind of work with the uh, Photoshop. So this is the funny thing though. This works 
really well on Photoshop, and um, it's kind of surprising just because like it's supposed to be a gaming mouse, but <laughs> I kind of use it for something else, and it seems to be kind of what they're going for because you don't really get the uh, custom customization on in terms of like oh I want to, um, this little bit to kind of expand or maybe this little expand. However, just like um, Rat M, you do have this little thing here, all right? You click the you well you hold that and you kind of drag this out, and I'll be honest, it's 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 really hard to do on camera. However, this thing is sturdy, all right? Um, because you can take a look at it and you get the idea why at first. I was very hesitant in actually trying to use it all the way like this. Not just because I have a small hand, but it's also because this thing doesn't look um, rigid. How, especially because I've, I've um, done the uh, battery, right? That's, that's not a good start, but this is the thing. This thing is rigid. This thing is rigid. I actually, um, when I tried it out on a full, uh, you know, setting I suppose full size whatever you want to call it but this thing oh my god it's actually really rigid it actually holds down very well like if if I do this you can see that it's it's is it bending it's barely bending at all if any um, so with that being said it's very rigid you you know if this is the kind of mouse you're looking for um, you will like it uh, this is the thing it, it comes just like the uh, other mouse, you know, what with the uh, being wireless and all of that, you do have this again. Ta-da! So, you do get that. Um, if I haven't uh, mentioned before, the uh, light indicating if it uh, turns on, it's here this time. So, um, besides that, I did get the matte finish. Um, there's a few other colors. There's the, um, let's see, gloss black. There's the matte black that I have right here. There's white and red, I believe. Um, however, in terms of just how it feels, it, it feels pretty good. I mean, I can just carry it like this without actually worrying that I'm going to drop it. Um, it seems that every button is where it needs to be. I can pretty much hit any button. And this is the funny thing. With this button, right, on Red M, I had a lot of trouble hitting it. Whereas with this one, it's very easy. I don't even have to try. So, I like, <laughs> I like Mouse 9, I'll be honest. I, I like this way more than Red M. Um, not saying that Red M is bad, by the way. It's, maybe it's just my personal opinion. But, guys, if you're going to drop a lot of money on this, you know, I really suggest that go check this out as well. Um, I know the uh, Red M is much more appealing if you're gonna move a lot, but this is wireless as well. I don't, I don't see the point. You can go ahead and check it out right here, or maybe at the website, maybe at the store. Maybe you're not gonna look at my video. Maybe, but. If you're watching this far, obviously you, um, you've you seen what I uh, showed you, the build quality on this, besides that, yeah, besides that, is really good. I really like how it is. Um, it's very smooth, Just uh, maybe it's just because the matte finish again, I like the, um, I really do like the build quality on this one, it's, it's pretty rigid. What if I throw it on the ground and see if it breaks? No, probably not. But you get the idea, guys. So, if you guys like the uh, previous iteration of the uh, rat mouse, and you see this mouse, 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 that thing. <laughs> if you um, if you're interested in this, you do have the dough to kind of you know just pick this up and not cry about it later. Go check it out, guys. <laughs> I want to say, like, um, I actually kind of have a little seal of approval for this. So go check that out. I'm, I'll see you guys on the next video. If you uh, like this kind of video, hit like, subscribe. Let us know what you want us to uh, kind of do next time. And um, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.